my head in there, and, and if you could answer it. Yeah, that, it's I'll about it's about if, if issue three gets more votes than issue two. Right. Um, issue two, in my reading, still would prevail because of the other issues. Okay. When I was listing them, I'm talking about the ways in which issue two could prevail over issue three. Um, but because of the way it was written, and because of the time period when it goes into effect, I would say that issue two would prevail over issue three. However, if issue three were to prevail, I am sure that that would be, your question is one of the arguments they would make if they, took, if they challenged it in court. And so there's precedence to that, and there's been a history of one issue trumping another, so they went with the amount of votes. Well, that I, I'm not aware of, a, of another similar situation like that. We're, we're reading, our, our reading of it and the attorney's reading of it in our office is related to what the actual amendment says in, and uh, in talking to other attorneys that do this around you know, the state, and, and that's the conclusion that they came to. See, we've never had competing ballot issues like this. I don't before. think as directly as this. Well, I'm not, I'm not aware of anything that is directly competed like this. So there, there are two elements in issue two that basically speak directly to issue three: narcotics yeah, I mean, and monopoly. Yeah, I mean, look, that's the way that the that's the reason that the general assembly, or the the reason that the general assembly wrote it the way that it did, um, and it, it seems pretty clear that it both that by passage. It would eliminate the monopoly piece. It would eliminate the, the drug or the narcotics or the marijuana piece, whatever you want to call it. Um, and in both in terms of its actual pa the language in the actual passage and its implementation as it relates to going to into effect immediately because it was initiated by the General Assembly versus 30 days after as, as a citizen's initiated petition would. Are you at all concerned about the, the fight at the Supreme Court impacting when the ballots get sent? Yeah, we, we, we have, uh, well, I mentioned I think it's 17 days before, no, 19 days, what did I say? 19? 17, 17, 17, 17, 17 days before ballots go out, which means, or is it 19 days? Uh, it starts it's on the 19th. It's on the 19th. So it's 17 days before it goes, goes out, which means that we need this 15 days from now. We need to have guidance because it takes a couple of days to get the ballots ready if there's a change needed in them. Uh, so that's the time frame uh, that we need to do this uh, if we're going to comply with federal law, which requires us to send out military ballots 45 days before the election. What happens if the language is in limbo and that date comes? Then we will probably be in a position where we would have to send out uh, another round of ballots. You mean you send what that, that is on there and then resend it? Then we would have. Then we would have to. Um, I can't remember the language that we used, but we would have to, to remake the ballot and send out new ones. So on the nineteenth, ballots are being sent no matter what. Yeah, we have to under federal law. Does the the public notice the the newspaper printing of this that goes out? When does mm -hmm. that when does that go out or when is that printed? Three weeks before election day. Okay, so there's still plenty I heard of time for that. Three weeks before the election day. That's what. Three weeks before the election day is when that happens. So all of this should be resolved before that's printed. I hope so. All right, let's get in the weeds. If you send out something on the 19th. I thought we were in the weeds. <laughs> if you send out something on the 19th and then you have to send out new language, can that voter send in the, the first one? You, would, they can, but it, be will not, we would, we, it would be the next ballot that we would do for the issue, Okay. for that particular issue. 